Hey, it's Dave here, just going through the details of what to do in Studio One to ensure that all of the external assets, like audio files, like this one we can see in the timeline here, get transferred over uh, when you save a song in Studio One and want to open that song on another computer, whether that be in another version of Studio One or Studio One Artist. So the first thing to check is from the Studio One menu here, just go down to the Options and under the Locations tab at the top, select User Data and just make sure that this tag is ticked here, uh, which is asked to copy external files when saving the song. It won't always ask for this, but this just means it will when you uh, save the song to a new location. As long as that's checked, the following process should work fine. So if I click OK, because it's already done here. So it's turned off by default, so you don't end up duplicating too much information. But in school environments in particular, you generally want to have it switched on so that kids don't have too much trouble um, saving a file on one computer and needing to open it in another. So what I would do if I was working in this particular session on this machine, I, I wanted to make sure that this audio was transferred over. I would now go to the file menu and instead of just choosing save or save as I'll choose save to new folder when I'm ready to save it for opening on another computer later on and I'll then go to the documents folder studio one and songs is where it should default to now this is its its current location and if I just choose the songs top level here and save this to another folder um, I'll need to click new folder in Windows, or you can use the shortcut Control shift n and I'll make a new folder for this to go into, and I will call this here's the example song, is the constructive title I'll give this one I'll close that, we'll hit enter to create the song, so I'm going to go into this new folder that I've created, and we'll just give that um, I've copied the uh, the name I put in the folder, so I've just pasted that in here, so that can be the name of the song as well. And now I hit save. All right. And what we'll do if I close out of Studio One now, and I just happen to have my documents and uh, Studio One and Songs folder open in Windows Explorer here. So here's the uh, example that I just created. And if I go into this folder now have a look inside you see we've got the cache folder for what it's auto saved and the media folder and you'll see in here now that piece of audio you can see it's now inside the song folder so this whole folder is then what you'd want to copy uh, to another machine so you basically copy this and if for instance I was to take this drag it to the desktop Alright, so it's in a totally different location now. I'll close that window down and let's open this up. And if I just launch Studio One by launching this song, there we go. So now that recovered the, uh, the audio, even though from the original song it's sitting in a different folder somewhere that um, it wouldn't necessarily look in um, if I'd launched it this way. And we should find that's now good to go. So, um, what people generally tend to do when they're inexperienced is just copy this file uh, and then they copy that file and then they uh, try and open that file on another machine where the audio doesn't exist and then they wonder why there's no assets in the, uh, the session that opens and people do the same thing with Pro Tools and, and other audio applications but the important thing to to understand about these things is that it's not just all contained in the one song file it's generally contained in a folder in a media folder with all of the assets associated with the session. Uh, so as long as you copy the whole folder, I'll show you that location once again, uh, where I saved this one to originally. So it was in Documents, Studio One, and Songs. And so if you save a new folder in this location and uh, save your song into that new folder via the File menu, Save to New Folder option, uh, and making sure that you've turned on uh, under locations in the Studio One options page, making sure that you've turned on ask to copy external files when saving songs. Uh, everything should be fine. <laughs>